Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 23rd episode of Hikaru no Go. So, last episode, Hikaru successfully became an insect because of, you know, doing well on the little, little uh, test and letting the guy actually know about the, his, the matches he did before being all together. That made a big difference to him. But now he's like in uh, second class because I think the whole insect thing is divided into first class and second class and... You want to ascend to first class, ideally, and some people are just, are just not able to do that. Like, good people have not been able to do that before, so... Hikaru's a little bit weird. Worried. Weird. What? Worried. He's a little bit worried, concerned, that he might not be able to do that. He might be stuck there forever. But I, I think it'll be, I'll think it'll be fine. I do think that. So, yeah, let's just get into it. Three, two, one, play. <sighs> oh, okay. You know it. Bro fist. Oh yeah, people find out about find out about him being his rival too. That went but that went well. Well, you just have to close the gap. It's not that hard. Okay. <laughs> not sure to make of that title, even with a TL note for it. Yeah, probably black. Wow. Yeah, what are you trying to say? Wow. Oh, wow. We need more shogi in this anime. Yeah, what's your rank? Oh, six. Wow. It's not bad. Pretty good, I guess. Well, maybe in skill, but we know I'm better. <laughs> Talking about scores and stuff. Yeah, he didn't even show up for one of the matches. I'm guessing you lost. Yeah, that's a safe assumption. I know that that's true. Is he okay? Oh wow, higher than Waya. I would assume so, yeah. Don't we all?
Well, setting's not all that great. Again, wouldn't we all? Yeah, I guess you're kind of getting close. Well, that's gotta suck. I guess becoming a pro is very difficult. Oh, wow. That's... I thought it'd be at least five. <laughs> yeah, we're... got a lot of work to do. That's not a good enough for black. Yeah, what what is your opinion on this, Akira? Are, are you paying attention? I don't think that's what his mind's filled with. Yeah, why would a kid possibly want to fool around in a club? That's just ridiculous. Uh, talent. <laughs> Not even worth pounding. <laughs> wow. I would imagine. Very true. <laughs> it's quite a blushed face. Are you asking me out? Uh, I need an adult. <laughs> I think I need an adult. <laughs> Very cool. Hey, it's a lot more than before. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, this should be interesting. This should be very interesting. Oh, you're not even gonna say anything? <laughs> yeah, I gotta run after him. You'll be saying hi, you know, we're still sort of kind of friends a little bit. If you squint your eyes. Oh. Oh well. I thought it was going to be more interesting than that, but... And he saw... <laughs> he still saw him, though. And yet he did. Well, we already figured that. But at least said hi. He does now. What a relief. Probably. <laughs> well, that was a laugh. I and that wasn't even a reaction to whatever you played that laugh. Why not? Good work, Ogata. Ogata Sensei.
Probably. I wouldn't count him out. <laughs> and that's what makes you rivals. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there's some passion in those eyes. Only why I could see those eyes. I didn't believe him. Leave it, Carter. And apparently he was right about him motivated. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He motivated you plenty. Definitely let it fire under his butt. Hopefully. I want to kill and hit Kyra to the ball through pretty well. Are you throwing a tantrum? Uh, rude. So to apologize when you bump into somebody. <laughs> Don't need to get so butt hurt about it. Yeah, losing to Hikaru, how humiliated. <laughs> He's, he comes across as pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, how dare he. But when you're the child of a famous pro, that's kind of expected. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. Encouragement support. Oh. <laughs> uh, get back to why, Sounds about right. Yeah, if only it would slow down for us a bit. And meanwhile, you just still continue to sip the resin and say, Yeah, the more time you spend as an insane, the more discouraged you would get. You probably bow if everybody else is doing it too. You know, read the atmosphere, dude. Zama sensei. Oh, titles. Well, you know. Ah, uh, cool. It's pretty good. That's a fair point, though. He's pretty good, though. Wow, dude. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> uh. 
That sounded like it was probably pretty bad. <laughs> That does sound like it could be a fun match. New pros against top pros. Definitely a good chance to get some attention if you do really well as a new pro. So it's a pretty cool idea. Yeah, do you read, child? Yeah, so I've heard. <laughs> You two are so meant to be friends. <laughs> oh god, the faces. Watched on a monitor, that's what I'm doing. You can't see the monitor, but take a word for it. Ugh, oh, my neck. Apparently. I'll turn a light on. Uh, what? Ah, uh, pretty cool room. But I'm not sure what the, what the reaction was, as it brings back memories. You don't get a lot of serious moments like that with Sai. <laughs> yeah, only for the super important matches. Yes, next year. Cool. And there's Toya much shorter, of course. Yeah, he will become big in the future. It's just a matter of how big. <clears throat> the episode's only a few minutes left, so... I won't see much of it. Yeah, Kira hopefully does well. <laughs> he sees those eyes. Eyes filled them into. <laughs> you are far more arrogant than he is. <laughs> But I'm sure you're, you're, I'm sure you believe your arrogance is deserved and his is not. I'm sure that's a difference in your mind. You gotta pay attention to the match in front of you. If you don't, it's very rude to your opponent. I guess Carlos was right that time. Maybe we'll get a bit of the match. Uh, yeah. Nope. <laughs> uh, <laughs> man, this is like getting salty back there. Like, how dare you not be shaken in fear of my greatness? I kind of want to watch Akira just mop, mop the floor with this guy. Okay, get to see Akira match against somebody besides Sai. Come on, Akira, you got this. Have a great pro debut.
It's very confusing whenever they say Toya because I'm like, are they talking about Akira or his father? Ah, oh, that's Kuabara. I don't think about it. Wasn't Kuabara a name of a character in Yu Yu Hakusho? Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to wait till the next episode to see the rest of the match. Hopefully Akira does well, though. I really want to see him win and that guy just be really butthurt. It'd be great. He's just so arrogant. I guess that's what having a title can do to you, but... Just come on, Akira. But yeah, Akira's clearly not what the, uh, not the typical new pro that he's probably used to dealing with and seeing. Or they're just like sitting there nervous, they can't believe they're there, they can't believe this is really happening. And then you have Toya that was kind of groomed for this, more or less. So he's not really all that taken aback or nervous. Even as the people there watching, you know, laughing along with his you know, lighthearted comments and stuff. I might be in danger. Wow, that's pretty good. I mean, that's a lot. You don't want to fall into that. Okay, that's solid advice. Okay, that was the 23rd episode of Hikaru no Go. And this episode, it was primarily talking about the whole pro scene, you know? Because we have Akira that's already like, you know, a pro basically, he passed the test and all that. And then we have the Insei kind of discussing the idea of being a pro. You know, some of them have tried multiple times to become a pro, even though, like, even though they're at like, the top of the insane, they still haven't quite made it there. That's got to be really discouraging. <laughs> like, really discouraging. But, you know, got to do your best. That's what it comes down to. We did get to see Akira actually go there and see Hikaru there, realize that he has become an insane. He probably didn't expect Hikaru to pass with his current skill level, but he did. He's there, and he's on the path to catching up with you. Despite what Akira says, he's very much bothered by that and is going to try his best. Because he had Ogata, I think it was, just doing his best to motivate him, and that worked. That did wonders. Definitely. Even though he's not doing so hot, Hikaru is not doing so hot as an Insei, like he just got his first win this episode, I think. But he's doing his best, you know, he's getting better all the time. He improves more quickly, more quickly than Akira does. So even though Akira probably is, you know, moving forward and stuff. Hikaru has more room to improve. It's like a level 1 and a level 30 character, you know, grinding. The level 1 character will get to, like, level 10 before the level 30 character gets to level, you know, 35, you know. Because that's just how scaling works. So it's kind of like that, where Akira might improve, but Hikaru's going to improve faster. And it is only a matter of time before he does eventually catch up. So that's something to look forward to, for sure. Let's see... Another thing that we're talking about with the pro stuff is that apparently they have this thing where new pros, they battle pros with like titles. 
to give them a chance to really, you know, show the, you know, to, to show what they got, you know, if they're just like, because becoming a just, becoming a fresh new pro, that doesn't necessarily mean you're like at the bottom of the pros, like you could just become a pro and be better than half the pros, that is technically possible. So I think that's kind of what the point of that is, so you can showcase your skill, you know, like right away you can show, like if you beat someone as a, in a title match, like right away, people know that, oh wow, this isn't just some new B pro, this guy's legit, you know. Something like that, so that's a pretty cool system, I really like how they do that. Of course, it can be pretty humiliating for somebody that loses those matches, so, you know. Because we got this guy, I think his title was Moza? Oza? Oza? It might have been Oza. Anyway, the point is he's going to face off against Akira, and the first time we saw him, he was just, like, very condescending, very, come across, very arrogant. You know, like, pretty much everything he said, like, he almost like he was trying, like, purposely trying to sound as arrogant as humanly possible. It's almost what it came across as, you know. But, uh, yeah, this guy, he's not going to handle it well if he loses to Akira, you know. He made comments like, oh, maybe I'll let him win by half a moku, you know, keep it exciting, and all that, but yeah, if Akira's, like, like, just wipes the floor of them, that would be amazing. That would be great. I could see him, like, smashing against the table and all that. Because we had somebody this episode get pretty butthurt about making a mistake and losing to Hikaru and all that, so, you know, there's a bit of precedent, precedent for that. Of course, a pro is a little bit different than that, you know, but... Yeah, we also got a scene with the, with uh, Sai. He, he saw that room that we got to play the really important game in. And, like, that, that atmosphere is very, very nostalgic for Sai, you know, because he has definitely experienced that many times him being like a, you know, a pro himself back in the day, an instructor, so he, he knows it well. So that was pretty interesting seeing there. I also love the shade that's being tossed back and forth between Hikaru and Waya. I get a kick out of that. But yeah, I really was hoping that when he, when Akira saw Hikaru, he would actually walk up there and say a few words before he left. And then Y would be all like, whoa, wow, you was you actually seriously know Akira? Oh my god. I was kind of hoping for something like that, but no. He just looked at him long enough, oh, he is here. I'm going to leave now. And then he just left, you know. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. I really wanted to get some kind of reaction from Y. Uh, like some kind of reaction like that, but no. We didn't get that, unfortunately. Maybe next time. Maybe in the future. But yeah, the episode definitely got me excited and hyped for the match between Akira and the Oza. So, yeah, I hope that goes well. I really do. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoki for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.